Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel today. I just wanted to share with you my empties. Um, and I have a couple that are not empty, which I know that I don't usually talk about, but um, I just wanted to make a mention of them. But before I get started with my wax melts, I just wanted to show you guys a couple new warmers that I got. I was going to bring the actual warmers in, but they are both being used, so I have the boxes, which are going to go in the recyclable as soon as I am done with this. So let me see if I can show you guys this one. This is um, the new Edison. Well, I don't know if it's new. It's an Edison by Sensationals. That's the exact one that I have. I love how cool that bulb looks. And it's like the nautical theme. So what I did was I had a Sensi um, bulb warmer in my front room, which I've been using. I switch the Sensi ones out down here, depending on the time of year. Um, and I do get a good performance, you know, I'd say like 80% of the time, I don't have a problem with getting a throw, but there, it, there is some wax that doesn't totally melt um, in that warmer and I have to like go over to it with like a little, you know, wooden spoon or something and kind of like mix it to get it to melt. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of tired of it. So... I bought this one and that one is down in my, like I said, in my front room and fantastic. Loving it, loving it, loving it. I think it is, what does it say? Safe, clean, heat source, fully enclosed, 40 watt, light bulb melts, wax, warm to the touch. Okay, no flame, no soot, no residue. All right, so yeah, so there it is again. Really, really, I'm enjoying that. And then I'm blaming Ramona for this one. I had to told Ramona that I thought that my Glade warmer was dying. Um, I've had it for a long time. I think, I don't know, five years, four or five years. And I keep it in my kitchen. And I've already broken the, um, the little thing that you put on top of the heat source. So I've been using, let me just see if I can find... I don't want to take the one off that I have, but I've been using like a glass, a little glass bowl on it because that's been broken for a long time. Whatever. It's still, it kind of like came back to life. So, um, but I had bought, she, Ramona had showed me a picture of this one, um, from Better Homes and Gardens and it's that hobnail, um, style. So it has like the, it's like, um, Oh my God, it's like rough on the sides, but the color is absolutely beautiful. So I ended up taking out another Scentsy warmer that I had in like an alcove area before you get into my into my bedroom. There's like a, like a built-in shelf. So, oops, hang on one, hang on one second. Sorry about that. I had my television on pause and I kind of forgot. And it like scared me when it, when it restarted. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I put this um, hobnail one. It's absolutely gorgeous. And man, it throws like a beast. Um, so yeah, so I took a Scentsy. I had another Scentsy bulb warmer over there. And again, it did okay. Um, but definitely didn't get the throw that I'm getting um, using this Better Homes and Gardens one. So thank you, Ramona. Um, I love it. Thank you for recommending it. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. And that is a 25 watt, uh, light bulb warmer. Okay. Now I feel all kinds of discombobulated. The TV coming back on really like kind of scared me. Do you guys watch Bar Rescue? I am kind of obsessed with it, I guess. Um, <laughs> And that's what I was watching while I was like cleaning up the dining room. But anyway, enough of that. Okay, on to empties. I didn't get through a ton. I feel like I say that all the time. Um, but to me, I just don't feel like I'm getting through that much wax. And I'm apologizing in advance for that like mess over there on my dining room table. It's Sunday. I'm trying to get things like prepped and ready for the school week, my work week 
which is at the school. Um, yeah, so I have like papers that I have to sign, stuff that needs to go in kids' backpacks. I still have some Easter decorations out that I need to put away. Ugh, and I'm just not feeling very energized today. So, all right. Better Homes and Gardens. Blueberry Lime Mojito. I really enjoyed this. This is good. Um, not... Uh, there's so many different kinds of blueberry, you know? Um, I find that I smell the artificial blueberry the most when it's in bakery. So this is more of just a very sweet blueberry. Um, I didn't really get much lime, but I really liked this. This was a great, strong, fruity scent, and it lasted a long time. I'm going to say like eight plus hours, and I had that going um, like all over my downstairs. I put some warmers, I put one cube in and some I put two in. So it's very easy to get through uh, clamshells. From K Scented Melt, I melted um, ginger ale, which I just rebagged because it was a little like punctured on the top. No biggie. Um, her ginger ale is good. It's good. I am sure I mixed it with something, but I don't know at the moment what that was. So if I stumble upon it, if it was something that I finished, then I will definitely talk about it. Um, from Waxmosphere, I melted Captain Marvel. This was like fruity, fruity bakery, I'm going to say. It was good, strong. I've had that for a long, for a long time. That was from October of 2017. So that was good. It was a very pretty um, colored tart and it was good through for many hours. Probably like, I'm going to say like a medium, a medium um, throw on that. And it might've just been because I just had one. So it was only going in one warmer. Uh, from Swanky Candle Company, I melted Fireside Marshmallow Cream Cake. This was freaking awesome. I love this. This was so, 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 so good and really strong. Loved this. Had this going in my front room in my new uh, Sensationals Edison Warmer. Really good. Totally enjoyed that. Uh, another one from Swanky Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie Lemon Ice Box Cookies. I am not... A fan of lemon in bakery. I love it by itself, but I don't want it mixed with cookies or cakes or anything. Um, it was strong, but it's just not, that's just not my thing. Um, where are you from? Rose Girls, pistachio, honey, almonds, vanilla, custard. Yep. Pistachio. That's exactly what it smelled like. It was strong. It was good. I like pistachio. It's not something I could do every day. I need to be in the mood for it, but did enjoy it. From Super Tart, I melted mallow. I had a couple, um, I think they were pumpkins. They were just good to melt with other, other bakery stuff. Um, I've had those for a long time too. Probably like I don't know, 2016 or 17. I have a couple from Savannah Blue because I had recently ordered from her, so I wanted to melt some of her stuff right away to see what I thought of it. Um, this one is I took a shower with my boyfriend, and of course, this one doesn't have scent descriptions, but it's seriously like a clean, sexy man, not cologne. Just a clean man out of the shower, like getting ready to go out. Really, really... Nice. I enjoyed that. I melted that in my bedroom and it was good. Another one from Savannah Blue is Bellissimo, which is pink lemonade, lavender, and vanilla bean Noel. This I liked. I didn't think that I would because it's mixed with lavender and it's pink lemonade. So it seems kind of an odd concoction, but the pink lemonade was very dominant and it was so good. It really was just a nice, like clean, refreshing scent and I enjoyed that. I think this is the last one from Savannah Blue. This is Morning Stroll, and this is lemongrass, lollipops, and fresh cut grass. Um, I definitely got the lemongrass, um, a little sweetness from the lollipops, and the grass was very, 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 very much in the back. You would just, every once in a while, get a little, um, a little sniff of the fresh cut grass and I like grass scents so this again that was good I think this has like four four little like buns in it yeah I'm pretty sure
from K Scented Melt Love Spell, which I love Love Spell. I have yet to get one that I don't like from a vendor. And I do like the ones, the one from Walmart as well. So, whoops, dropping stuff everywhere. From Zape, I melted beach towels. That was gifted to me from Sasha, and this was really good. I liked this. Just a nice, clean, like, on the line, um, laundry-esque scent. I enjoyed it. It was strong. Melted that, I believe, up in the upstairs bathrooms, and that was good. Uh, from Destination Wax, I melted sugar cookie, um, warm, freshly baked sugar cookies. Yeah, really strong, buttery sugar cookie. Um, I think I melted it by itself. It probably would have been better if I, like, mixed it with, like, some strawberry or some type of something, but I don't, I think I just had like a little piece of it left and I just wanted to use it up. Destination Wax, Lemon Leaves and Mint. Lemon Leaves, whew, Lemon Oil, Lemon Verbena, and Fresh Spearmint. Um, this was good. On warm, I didn't really get the spearmint. On cold, I smell it, but on warm, I just mostly got the different types of lemon, which was nice. I love lemon, like I said, as long as it's not in bakery. So that was good. Strong. Enjoyed it. Um, melted this after, like, cooking um, dinner. That was, like, a nighttime melt for my downstairs. I'm um, another one from Kay, Elderflower. I'm not going to talk about it. You guys all know how much I love this. Ugh, I just, I can't. I can't, and I'm, like, scared to look in my drawer where I store my wax, um, because I'm afraid, I think I don't have any more of it, and I'll be really sad. Let's see. What else do we have? Another one from Kay, Watermelon Lemonade. Delicious. Oh, my God, this is so good. This I actually had going, did I do it with? Oh, what that other, I think the Bellissimo, yeah, like this was going like all in the downstairs, um, so I just had like different types of lemonade, and it was, this is really good, this is a nice, um, non-candied, um, watermelon, and I really liked it, it's been hot, it was like, I think it's in the 90s today, and it was in the 90s yesterday, and pretty warm, uh, last week. So it was just kind of like craving like lemonade and fruity types of scents. Another one from Kay. Boy, I didn't, really didn't think that I melted much from her, but I guess I did. Raspberry Sangria. Again, I really loved this. Strong, long lasting. Um, raspberry Sangria. It was good. Lemonwood from Hayden Row. This is so freaking good. I loved this. Uh, just beautiful, clean, crisp, tart lemon. So, so good. Melted this in my bedroom and really liked that. That was um, from Sasha as well. The Soleil Blanc from K. This to me smells like um, being out in the sun, like at the beach. It really does. That's what I get from this, like suntan oil, sand, like a... Sandy suntan oil. Um, it's this is light though. This is not this. I had. Oh my gosh! Find your words. This I melted in my front room, and I did use the new uh, Edison warmer, and it's light. And I'm pretty sure that it was. I think it was pretty light the last time because I had two of these. But it was nice. I don't think that that is a scent that you would want like crazy kicking through your house. It was nice when you walked into my house that this was the first like scent that you got. And it was nice. It wasn't like what I just said. It wasn't crazy. Um, from Rose Girls, Monster Coffee Fluff Puffs. So... I think this is like her absolute coffee in here, which I love. I don't think that I like fluff puffs. I'm not, I'm not totally sure. But these are big chunks. This I had gotten in a D-stash, bought a D-stash, and um, there were many chunks in here. And with these chunks, they are big. You do not want to put a whole one in. You want to cut those into like thirds. Um, 
I enjoyed it. I'm not going to say, you know, I didn't like dump my wax because of it. It's just not a favorite um, from her. And I do love her coffee. I do have another Savannah Blue. This is Cape Cottage. And this is Lime, Mandarin, Fresh Herbs, Green Tea, and Clean Cotton. This was a really beautiful, really beautiful scent. Um, a little of this goes a long way. And for some reason, I get amber in here. Um, I don't know if these scents, scents, the scents mixed together give it like a little amberness. But um, you really, I would not recommend like melting a bunch of these all at once. I would do like one in a room and <laughs> that it is, it's very strong. And she puts her poured dates on the back and then tells you like melt after 4.9, even better after 4.23. And I melted it after the 4.23 and like I just said, kicking strong and enjoyable, like a nice like spring summer scent is what I can say about that um Brita's Treasures Pure Imagination this was gifted to me in a recent friend mail from Teresa T for Two and this is Blackberry Jam Cotton Candy Whipped Cream Cookies and Bubble Gum this smelled really strong of like bubble gum on cold and when I warmed it I had it going in my kitchen in a couple different warmers and I got bubble gum for about 45 minutes to an hour and then it didn't smell like anything. So it was good while the scent was there, but when it died off, it was, it was just, it was nothing. So, but thank you, Teresa, because I have never tried Brita's and I know I have a couple other ones too to try. So I am looking forward to that. And a couple more scent shots. Why am I, why are my videos always so long? Shave and a haircut from Kay Sentinels. My boys go crazy for this um for this one. This is the only shave and a haircut that they have like commented on and asked for it. Um and I know I've had others from other vendors in the past. They love this. Um they say that it smells it smells like the place where they go and get their haircut. So they love this. They have this in their bedrooms. And asked me if I would get more of it. Okay, on to a few that I melted from Midnight Midnight Daydream Wax Company. Um, my opinion still has not changed. Um, I'm upset um, that I'm not getting a throw from this stuff now. All right, so this is a pink butter mint confetti cake. So this is confetti cake, butter mints, and pink sugar. On cold, holy crap, this is like so strong and I get like a really good minty, I get that cake note, really everything in here and the pink sugar. So I had told you guys I tried it in all my downstairs warmers and I couldn't smell anything. So I have just been melting um, his stuff in my son's um, bedroom, which in his bedroom, his bedroom's not huge. It's not tiny though. <clears throat> and we do have the air conditioning on. He has a Sensi bulb warmer. So I think it has like a 25 watt bulb or a 20. I don't know, whatever. The stuff up there just in his bedroom smells, I mean smells, it throws like crazy. It smells so good. It like comes out of his room, depending on the scents. When I'm melting this midnight, excuse me, midnight daydream. Okay. But I melted this one, this pink butter mint confetti cake downstairs in my front room in my new Edison. I'm going to keep saying that. In my new Edison warmer. Thinking, okay, maybe it just, it's asking too much from the Scentsy warmer, whatever. So I tried it in that and... Nope, nothing. I had to be like on top of the warmer to smell this. So I feel I have definitely given, this was poured on 319. I feel like I've given it, um, I've tried it everywhere, like I said, and the only place that I'm getting scent throw is in my son's room. So all of this stuff is getting melted in his room, which is fine by him because he loves bakery scents. Um, 
even to fall asleep to at night. Um, so I, he melted the cafe donut, which, oh my God, you guys, I want my house to smell like this. Oh, glazed donuts and freshly brewed coffee. I love this. This smells so freaking good. This is the second or third one that we've melted. It smells so good on cold and it smells delicious in his room, but I can't just buy wax. I can't buy wax from a vendor to just use in one room. I, I, I can't. I can't. Um, maybe I'll try him again, you know, in a year or something and see if, I don't know. I'm just, it's upsetting. Campfire Marshmallow Noel, Campfire Marshmallow and Vanilla Bean Noel. He loved this one as well. It smelled delicious in his room. And it does. They smell so freaking good on cold. I just, they don't like my house. Uh, and I can't blame it on having air conditioning on because it's on in his bedroom too. It's central air and it throws great there. And I don't know. And I can't melt bakery stuff in my bathroom. It's just, I can't. I have to do like bakery. I mean, I'll do it in his bedroom because that's what he likes. And I do it in the kitchen and stuff like that. But I am not melting. Maybe it would throw in my bathroom. But I, that's too disgusting for me to melt food in a bathroom. Okay. God. All right. So then a couple things that I wanted to mention that I have been melting but didn't finish is this from Super Tarts. It is Frosted Tangerine Roses. I've been hanging on to this for years because I don't really like it. Oh, I don't on cold. Um, it's doing okay. It's in my warmest now and it's doing okay. I'm not getting a ton of rose scent, but I also mixed it with, um, dirt from that smell good shop. So that is nice. And my husband said, why does it smell like dirt in the house? So he couldn't even smell the roses in the tangerine. Um, I'm going to melt it again in a couple days, the frosted roses, frosted tangerine roses without dirt and see if maybe it's not as rose fragranced as it's coming off on cold. So I am going to do that. So I did want to mention that. I have also been melting from Vintage Chic Scents. I believe in pink, which is pink sugar and peppermint. And that's a good size bag. So I want us to talk about it because there is a lot in here. So it won't be an empty soon. But this is really good. And it, I mean, it's just basic. It is pink sugar and peppermint. Um, but it's really good. Um, and again, I thought that this would be exclusively melted at night. But I am enjoying it um, after work as well. So that is really good. I am... I have been melting the chunklets, chamomile with green tea overpour from Tiffany Candles, which I know is now Tiffany Rose. I keep wanting to see, say Tiffany Rain, but these are, these are what her little chunklets look like. This is so good. This really is. It's strong. It is strong, strong, strong. I don't, oh yeah. So I've had this since October of 2016. Um, and I only have like three three chunklets left. So again, this is the type of scent I have to be in the mood for. But when I am, it is so good. That's why this has taken me a long time to get through it. I do really like it. Strong. I love chamomile. Love green tea. Um, it's a bit floral, but not, not crazy floral. Okay. Um, I have been melting and loving you know, I went through a laundry. I'm just going to pause you guys for a second because I need to find something real quick. All right, sorry. I knew I went through something. Well, not finished it, but I did try something from Simo. Um, this is April Fresh Type. So that is a laundry. And when I say laundry, yes, this is straight up like laundry, laundry, laundry. This is so freaking strong, you guys. This is two washboards were in here, and I've just been melting this in my downstairs bathroom. This is what I have left. I think I started melting this the day that I got it, so I'm not sure when. I hauled, um, I did a haul video of this, but I started melting it that day. This stuff lasts so long in my bathroom, a um, few days. So that's why I'm still not done with this. It is so strong. It never like dies down. Like it is, 
I shouldn't say that. I mean, obviously it does die down because I change it and put another piece in. It is so strong. I can't believe how long it's taking me to go through this. Which is a good thing. I am not complaining. And this was just poured on 4-4. Um, so I have been melting the, the April Fresh Type from SEMO. As well as Lemon Summer Breeze from Rose Girls in my downstairs bathroom. And this is clean lemon and laundry. And this is so strong too. Oh, it is so good. It's a delicious um, lemon. Oh, so good. And the laundry and so I've just been like switching like I'll melt the April fresh type and when that dies down or I you know need something to change it to then we move over to lemon summer breeze and then we go back to this so honestly I'm not even having to change this out every day like I'll get like two days with a piece and then dump it and then two days you know I mean it's crazy I'm not complaining it is good I am so happy when my wax lasts a long time um, and then the last thing that I have been trying is, um, this from Savannah Blue, her scoops, and this is in recharge and this is bergamot, grapefruit and orange peel. And I know it doesn't look like I've taken a lot out, but I have, I've melted this twice in my downstairs and this is good. Um, I'm, you know, sticking to her instructions and she says, um, Oh, I thought it said something on here. Yeah, it's one to two scoops to your warmer. And she gives you like um, these little wooden spoons, which has a little grubbiness on it. Um, I love the consistency of this. Um, I definitely, did I say that I, I mostly got grapefruit and orange peel? I didn't really get the bergamot. This is good. Okay, so I melted this twice downstairs in... Um, a candle, what is that? Oh my gosh, a tea light warmer. Um, I did two scoops, two, you know, little, two of these scoops. And then I also did it in my centerpiece warmer by Yankee. Same thing at the same time um, on two different occasions. And I got about like four and a half, five hours. So not bad. Um, so yeah, I have one other of her scoops in a coffee scent and I'm liking it. So... That's everything. Oh, and then I am melting a, well, I'm burning a candle, um, which I'm sure you guys have seen before. It takes me forever to get through candles. This is Lemoncello White Barn from Bath and Body Works. And um, I thought I was going to love it a lot more than I did, but it's nice. It is burning while I have the um, roast roasted frosted tangerine and roses with the dirt. So it's all kind of smelling like kind of like a... I don't know, a garden, a clean garden in here, I guess. So that's everything. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, yeah, that's everything. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Have a great week. Bye, guys.